Hey guys, welcome back, and it is time for another What Lipsticks You're Hanging Out in My Bag. Um, for those of you who missed the first video, I'll link it down below. Um, I tend to collect lipsticks in my bag just when I take them to work and wear them and they just kind of just live in my bag until I have to clean them out. So, so like before, I thought it'd be fun to show you what I've been wearing throughout my just normal day over the past week or so and swatch them for you and yeah. That's about the drill. Let's get started. All right, the first one I've been loving is um, the color I actually have on my lips right now, and this is the NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in Locked. I absolutely love these lipsticks. I've talked about them before. They go on like a liquid lipstick. They feel like a liquid lipstick. They dry down like one, but it's just the convenience of a tube. I absolutely love these. I talked about these in my underrated products video, and these are just fantastic. But this color, there's something about this deep berry color that makes me feel like I actually have lips. So there's few lipsticks that can do that. There's a couple of them in here. The next shade I have is also a full throttle lipstick and this is in the shade Kiss the Dust. I love this lipstick and I didn't think I was gonna like it at first because it pulls almost terracotta on me. It is definitely a brown leaning nude, but it does it picks up a lot of warmth when I'm wearing it on my lips, but I actually really like it. And again, it's another one of those lipsticks that just makes me feel like I have bigger lips than I actually do. It's very flattering and I, you know, one of those surprise products that I didn't think I was going to like as much as I do, but that is the Full Throttle Lipstick in Kiss the Dust. Next color I have is one of the Maybelline Vivid Liquid Mattes, and this is in the shade Nude Flush. I really like these. I think they're really, really comfortable. There is a more brownie nude. This is definitely on the pinker side. They're just a comfortable lipstick. They don't, it takes a while for them to dry down matte, and even then it's not gonna be like a matte, like this is matte. It's gonna be more of a natural, just looks like your lips have nothing on it type of finish. And I really do like these. Um, I know a lot of people are disappointed that they're not long wearing and they're not fully matte, but if you're just looking for a comfortable lip color that you can just throw on, throw in your bag and go, this one is fantastic. And I really like, I really like this color. Next, let's move on to a truly matte lipstick, and this is one of the Milani um, matte lipsticks in matte confidence. I actually wore this to a wedding uh, last weekend, and I love this red. It is just a beautiful, well-balanced red. It, it doesn't pull too blue. It doesn't pull too orange. It's just perfect right in the middle. These are just a comfortable formula. The Milani lipsticks, if you haven't tried these, these are some of the best in the drugstore. They're very comfortable. They wear really well. I don't feel like I have to wear a lip liner with this color. I feel like it just goes on, stays on my lips, and is just wonderfully matte without being uncomfortable. And I think this is just a great traditional matte lipstick. Next, let's move on to this um, liquid lipstick. This is from BH Cosmetics and this is in the shade Muse. I love these kind of mauve almost gray, grayish brown leaning nude colors. I, for some reason, I just love the way they look when I wear them. It's again, another really flattering color. It makes me feel like I have lips <laughs> when I don't I have very small lips. Um, and it's just a, a beautiful color. These wear really well. I find throughout the day, um, they do get a little bit dry and flaky towards the end of the day, but I feel like this is one of the few liquid lipsticks that I can layer and, you know, kind of reapply and it not be that dramatic, um, or traumatic of a situation, <laughs> if you know what I mean, as far as liquid lipsticks. So if you haven't tried these out, I think these are absolutely beautiful. They're about $8 on Beach Cosmetics website and Muse is one of my favorites. And then the final one that I had in my bag is, this is one of the Le Crims, and this is in pink chocolate. This came with one of the um, Too Faced holiday sets. I'd never tried this formula before and I wanted to try it, so I was really excited to have these. Um, I have gotta say, this is one of the most comfortable lipstick products I have ever worn. It is a traditional creamy finish, which I don't mind. I don't always like a matte lip. The color is beautiful. There is, um, you can build it up to get full opacity or you can sheer it out and it's gonna be a little bit lighter on the lips. It just depends on what your preference is. Beautiful, dusty rose color, leaning towards a berry. Now these don't wear a super long time on the lips, but they just go on so easily, it's not a problem to just reapply it after I'm done eating or drinking or whatever the case may be. And I really, really enjoy, I'm enjoying this formula so far. Plus the packaging is just very weighty. So it is an expensive lipstick. I believe these are $22 a piece, but it just feels luxurious. It feels heavy and substantial. All right, everybody. So yeah, that's, those are just the lipsticks that have been hanging out in my bag. Um, so I hope this was interesting for you. Let me know if you like this video. Um, and if you do, we'll keep doing them. And if not, 
we can just kick them out the door. But as always, thanks so much for hanging out and talking about makeup with me. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Have a rocking week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.